All right, so yes, we're back on here. Valdry Baltos is a idiot. He's stupid. He, like, not real life. Real life, he's just ha he's just been having a bad season. So, I'm not ripping on real life Valtry. I'm ripping on video game Valtry. Like, seriously, how com how dumb can he be? Like, this is a smart move. I'm not gonna lie. I per I think I was trying to block him or you know kill him, and then that. We're saving the best part for the end. All right. So as you can see, there's me. I come across him, and then. Like always, I come back across the field. Look how many cars are stacked. There's two cars spinning right across. Yeah. Here's what I saw. Yeah. And can you t can you guys tell me why uh, it's always always Carlos? It's always Carlos Sainz. That gets the worst of it in this game. Like, every time a crash happens in front of him, he's gonna end up nearly dead. Like, look at that. Like, just... Alright, we're gonna do the first person. Imagine, it's your first season in Formula 1. Like, all my Spain fan, Everyone from Spain that watches. Because for some reason, most of my viewers are from Spain. That's still hilarious. But... Imagine, it's your Formula 1 debut, you're driving for Toro Rosso, and if you do well the season, and if you do well in the season, <clears throat> you might have a chance at a Red Bull seat. Just sick about that. And it's your second start of the season, because this is Malaysia. Like, it's your second start of the season. Uh, imagine that you got maybe a 13th to 12th place finish at Australia. And like your hands are shaking after that, after uh, qualifying because you didn't qualify too well. Because here he's at the back. Like just pretend that you play some good strategy, or just pretend, just make up a finishing position that Toro Rosso in 2015 could achieve. Uh, you know whatever. He got like a P12. Off of a decent strategy. Like you give P12 off. A decent strategy. At Australia. You have a. Decently poor qualifying session. Compared to your teammate. Who qualified right behind. Um, who qualified right behind. A uh, Red Bull. So you're thinking. Man. I could have done better in qualifying. But either way. It's a long race. We got this. And then. Green flag, and then you see this crash happen in front of you, and then you see the cars come up across the track. You see your teammate get wrecked, and then you're going 173 miles per hour. You don't have enough time to brake, and then you see this. You run into a Ferrari, and then you see it cl practically climb on top of you. Like, imagine how terrifying that would be. Like, you would be terrified. Because, let's be honest. It's, like, there's, like, unless you're a race car driver in Spain, there's no way you're going 100. There's no way you're going to be able to experience going 173 miles per hour into a car that's going 27. And the others are going, like, another 20. Or something. Like you're you're not gonna be okay. You're gonna be scarred after that. You're gonna be like, well, I know to off to hit the brakes if I see cars go off track. Shut up, iPad. Like you're gonna know that I'm an idiot. Like you're gonna know that. Do not. Like, seriously, I nearly landed on him, and he, he he was also on side, so just imagine seeing this crash happen in front of you, 
or you're part of this crash. Like, you would be scarred. You would be scarred. Uh, but, yeah, this, this is pretty much why the video is called Walter Boltos nearly got Carlos Sainz and Sebastian Vettel killed in Malaysia. Uh, yeah. Just try not to get nightmares of this. Like, I could have landed directly on top of him. Like, you see where I am? If it wasn't for that wall or that, or the rear wing being so big, like, I'm pretty sure it was the rear wing that saved him. Or the fact that he veered to the right. I don't know. It was one of those. And then you see the crash back here. Uh. Wish I didn't mess with the replay. Then we could uh, see what Valtteri saw. But uh, yeah. Valtteri Boltos. In an F1 game. Is stupid. Or maybe it's just the AI. Like can we get the AI to be smarter? Like. Can someone, like, make, like, to, like, we need, uh, Code Masters to program the AI to realize that you're coming across them so they'll actually lift. Because they do that in real life. Right? Either way. Uh, so, Walter Boltos in Formula 1 games that I've played is a complete idiot. Uh, don't drive like Valtteri Boltos in Formula 1 games, just, just don't.